Hey guys, Sasha from NetworkNews.com and I'm at CS in Las Vegas and as you can see I'm just about to get my ice cream sandwich update for the ASUS ePad Transformer Prime. So this is going to finally be the very first Tegra 3 tablet or the first tablet in any ways to be available with a ice cream sandwich. After it's been downloading the new firmware it's starting to um, upgrade, uh, optimize all the apps and uh, now finally here we go ice cream sandwich let's check it out y you can already see that this unlock uh, halo is different so I can immediately switch over to the camera and over here I can just unlock it <laughs> okay finally that's interesting that's new. Okay. Also over here, the messages are from Google that are coming in. That's different. Well, I'm not so sure about the performance of it right now, but maybe this is a matter of the very first uh, start right now. Um, let me give you a quick. Let's open a couple of apps. So we can see if that if all works. Okay. There we go. And one more. Um, what about the music app? Here we go. Okay. So now. I'm not so sure if this is so super responsive, but that might be a matter of uh, having booted up for the very first time after the upgrade. And I think we can now close apps by just swiping over here. And uh, let's see that. Okay. That's a new animation. So you can see when you're changing the screens from your app, and as soon as you're coming to an end, it's just kind of giving you this little 3D effect over here. What about widgets? Are there any new widgets? Oh, here's this famous uh, analog clock from Ice Cream Sandwich. That's new. I like this animation. It That feels very zippy. Well, I'm, I will definitely do a detailed review of it and uh, but you know what one thing do I have a quadrant benchmark on here let's see if that had any impact on the performance of the device here we go let's give it a shot okay well as we know quadrant isn't really optimized for any dual core tablet but I think under Honeycomb we've had around uh, 3,000 points so let's see what it's coming up with and keep in mind that I have a couple of tasks open but anyways it should definitely be available globally right now well uh, ASUS and NVIDIA announced this during their press conference uh, at the CES today and it just started updating over here at around was it like around midnight ouch Mr. Autofocus is kicking in but not in a good way hmm I'll tell you about this IO database writes this really takes a while okay here we go now it's moving what about the frames this is running at 18 frames a second that's around 60 there we go. Well, obviously not when it's just going around the corner. And here comes the final two animations. That's again at around 60 frames. And here we go. And 
this is now at 2000. That's of course quite a difference. But hey guys, this shouldn't be really a benchmark. Um, I'm not so sure what kind of effect ice cream sandwich had on uh, uh, a program or an application like Quadrant. In general, um, it feels very zippy and uh, had this nice new animations over here and the way they arrange the widgets. So I'm pretty sure that this is a really cool update for a tablet. And again, this is just a very brief and first look at Ice Cream Sandwich for the EPET Transformer Prime. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Over here at fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching.